Hi, I'm Noah. And I'm Angelina, and we are students in the high school broadcasting class. And this is a special student orientation episode of The Sailor Station. We are here with a few of our fellow classmates to welcome you to Oceanside High School. And to help you get acquainted with the high school and to share some important information to make your transition easier. Let's get started. There are many reasons why parents and guardians might need to come to the high school. And when you do, you need to check in at the front security desk. Everyone needs to show ID and sign into the building when they get here. And please, have your ID with you. If you need to see a teacher, administrator, or guidance counselor, please call ahead and schedule an appointment. Otherwise, they might not be available, and you'll have to come back at a different time. Hi, I'm Dana, and this is Justin. Justin, what are you doing? I've been practicing my card swiping skills. I've been practicing all week. I haven't been on time to school once. Why? Because you have to show your ID when you enter or exit the building. You also need to swipe your card when you come into school late. You also have to swipe if you are a 9th or 10th grader when going to lunch. And you need to check out books and resources from the library. What happens if you lose your ID? Don't worry, you could always see Mrs. Sartori in the library and pay a small fee to get a replacement card. Hey Justin, do you know what's in the library? Oh come on Dana, at least give me a challenging question next time. Books and magazines to read? Yes, but what else? Computers and printers to do research? Of course, but what else? Uh, students and tutors quietly meeting to do their homework? Yes, but it is also home of the media center. Of course! If you are having a problem with your iPad, like an app isn't working, or just have questions about your iPad, there are several technology specialists who can help you. Thank you very much. I'll fix this right away. But remember, there are some things that even they cannot fix. So make sure you sign up for the iPad insurance. If you're not feeling well, you can go to the nurse's office. Remember, only go there if you are actually sick. It is not a place to get out of class and hang out with the nurses. If you're sick and need to go home, a parent or guardian needs to sign you out. You can't just leave? No, a parent or guardian needs to sign you out. Another important thing to remember, if you play sports or plan on playing a sport, give the nurses a copy of your physical. They keep track of your physicals and can pass information along to coaches, and it is always a good idea to keep another copy for yourself. If you have to get signed out of school for an appointment, then go to the attendance office. What you may notice is that all the hallways look very similar and can be very confusing. Don't worry, there are security guards that can direct you or just look at the lockers. If you see blue lockers, you are in the north wing. If you see green lockers, you are in the south wing. And there are always signs that can direct you. This is only a highlight reel of some of the important things that you need to know. If you have any questions, you can always talk to your guidance counselor. But the best advice I can give is to get involved. And one of the best ways to find out what's going on is going to student activities to speak with Mr. Turk. Good evening, future high school parents. Thanks for coming. I hope you're enjoying the presentation. Student activities is one of the best things that we have here in the high school, but I'm completely and totally biased. My name is Mr. Turk. I am a social studies teacher as well as a student activities director. Please let your children know that we have so many events that everybody can find something that they want to be involved in. In the beginning of the year, we'd start registration for Battle of the Classes. So you'll receive an email from me asking if your children want to sign up for Battle of the Classes. It's one of the best ways that we have to break down any nervous barriers they have coming into the building. They gather with their friends, they hang out, they work together, produce amazing products. And currently, right now, our hallways look spectacular with all of the amazing artwork that's going on and that culminates all the way through into January where our final battle of the classes event goes on it's a full half year of stuff for our kids to get involved in and enjoy the high school our clubs there's about 40 clubs that we run so there is definitely an interest a place for your child to actually come here and find their interest in no time we have a club fair, we have so many different opportunities. Please email me, call student activities, ask any questions to make sure that your child has the best four years they possibly can because of student activities and everything else our amazing high school has to offer. And those are some of the highlights. But you still might have questions. Is there really a pool on the third floor? I'm afraid there isn't. Can you buy an elevator pass? No. Do I really have to go to gym? Yes. Many of the answers to your questions can be found in the Digital Student Handbook, or just ask your teachers, administrators, guidance counselors, or office secretaries. Get involved with clubs, sports, and other activities. Remember that all the freshmen will be going through the same thing, so you're not alone. When in doubt, ask. 
From all of us here at the Sailor Station, welcome to Oceanside High School.